Uh, Rusty Hardin, Deshaun Watson's uh, lead attorney in those 23 civil lawsuits, was on the radio on the Payne and Prendergast show at 610 a.m. in Houston, um, had this to say um, about the defense of Deshaun Watson's civil cases. I don't know how many men are out there now that have had a massage that perhaps occasionally there was a happy ending. All right, maybe there's nobody in your listening audience that that ever happened to. I do want to point out, if it has happened, it's not a crime, okay? Unless you are paying somebody extra or so to give you some type of sexual activity, it's not a crime. And so at the end of the day, uh, that's another thing that would affect con. Doing something or saying something or being a way that makes you uncomfortable is not a crime. And so we've had two grand juries find that, and nobody seems to want to listen. With that, let's welcome in G. Bush. Uh, G. Bush, I know you haven't heard that before. Uh, that was a little bit of a head scratcher. Uh, not sure where uh, Deshaun Watson's attorney is going with that. Yeah, man. Uh, it looked like, why didn't he just say, look, uh, you know, two grand juries found no. Um, wrongdoing, no legal issues here uh, in, in terms of whether or not this is going to be criminal or not. And uh, we just stick by that. I mean, he's going into a lot of details. Like, you know, he's it's kind of loose and fast a little bit right there. Um, and, and, you know, sometimes this gets the best of a lot of people out there, too. Like, you know, sometimes you, you could talk about a story over and over and over and over and over and over again, right? Um, and, but the difficult part about it is is when you tell a story over and over again, you uh, sometimes get loose and fast with you know how much you're supposed to say and the, to be succinct enough to, to get your point across and to keep it, um, not to sensationalize a lot of stuff. And so that's the key. There's a lot of people to get in trouble um, and a lot of people who, who are, you know, have a side of this story to tell, they have the narrative to point, paint, but at the same time, you know, after you tell it so many times, human nature is to, to add or, or take away things from it, right? And, and even when, you know, that's why they say anything you can and, and, and say can and will be used against you in a court of law. That's why most likely uh, players, uh, athletes don't say much. And at this extent, it seems like his lawyer should have not been saying, saying much. I mean, you know, he's done the uh, radio gambit here in Cleveland. He's doing the radio gambit uh, in, uh, in Houston. And for me, trying to win a case in a, in a, in a court of public appeal um, is not going to really work, right? If, if I don't have anything, to, if I'm not doing no trials to next year, I'm not going to be going on radio shows because, you know, everybody has this, I got gotcha your moment. Like, oh, see what you said there? But last time you were on this show and you said you used this word and that word denotes a whole other totally. You see how that worked? So if it's just me, I'm like, look, we waiting this out. If we're not going to talk until until next, you know, April, whenever you guys have decided to do the civil trials, that's what I'm working with. But I, I'm not going to just be going. I'm not doing Radio Row. Like, yeah. I think sometimes he feels like he got to kind of get in in, in, the, in the middle of it or or try to, you know, say mitigate some of the stuff. But another thing is mitigate what the, what, what the other lawyer is saying. If you got new witnesses... Talk about the credibility of those witnesses. And at the end of the day, you know, once again, there's new stuff coming out every single day. Um, but, you know, for me, if it was me, I'm just going to play the, I, I, I'll do my negotiating behind closed doors. I'll talk to the in, in, the inspectors or whatever uh, legal counsel that I need to talk to. And I'll just, I'll just have my day in court. I think they should minimize some of the, the public talking on radio shows. Yeah, I'm with you. And the other thing to keep in mind is there were no criminal offenses going. So so it, whether it's criminal or not doesn't really affect the civil lawsuit, and it certainly yeah. doesn't affect any potential suspension coming. Uh, but that oh, yeah. kind of talk uh, will affect the code of conduct for the NFL and, and what they deem acceptable for their players. All right.